Hello, fifth grade. Welcome to week six of our project-based learning. Uh, before I get started, I wanted to show you a new rebranding of the video channel here. I think you'll find cool. So let me switch that over. Here we go. So welcome to Code Station 33. I just wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, so we'll be trying this brand for a little while. Let's get started and dive into our virtual classroom here and look at our information. So we've been designing a virtual Rube Goldberg machine and we have done um, one, two, three, four stages. We're gonna do the fifth stage this week and we're also going to talk about recording sounds on our program. So in the final stage, this is the final stage, you want to have the ball do something like knock stuff down, be creative, maybe it lands in a basket, uh, maybe a character catches it. You get to do whatever you want in the final stage. Surprise me. Now let's talk about recording the sounds. So to record the sounds, you're going to add sounds that you record in Scratch into each of your stages. And when I say sounds, uh, they could be clicks, they could be sounds of the ball rolling, they could be symbols, they could be any symbol that you, sound that you want that you add in. So let's take a look at that. So again, the first thing I want to do is click see inside of my project. You see I have all this stuff from last time and I'm going to do file save as copy. And of course you guys will have stage five on this. Mine says stage four, but I'm just gonna change it to Rube Goldberg with sound. Okay, so these are really on the ball, all of the steps for our Rube Goldberg machine. So this is where we're gonna be adding the different sounds. So I'm gonna go into my sound and I'm going to drag in one of these sounds, but let's look at these blocks. These are a little bit different. This one says, start the sound. This one says, play the sound until it's done. So let's see if we can hear the difference. Um, let's see if I can find a longer one. I'm gonna record a longer one so you can hear the difference. So I recorded a quick sound of me just counting to 10. I'm gonna hit save and here's my sound. And I'm gonna go back to my code and I'm gonna switch this to my recording. So you can make as many recordings as you want to get all the different kinds of sounds, or you can use built-in sounds, but I really wanna focus in on what the difference between these two things is. So I'm gonna put start recording one, and watch what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight so you can see the sound starts playing and continues to play while the rest of the program is continuing now put in this block play sound until done and see what happens one two three four five six seven so you can see this is waiting to play the entire sound before it moves on. Nothing else is gonna happen until the sound um, is finished playing before we can move to the next block. So I don't think this is the block that you want. One, whoops, sorry. I think the block that you want is the start sound and then let it play that sound and move on to the next thing in the game because for the most part they're going to be quick sounds like a cymbal crash or the sound of a rolling pin or something maybe like bowling pins getting knocked over so those are the kinds of sounds you're going to be putting in here so the sound block that we want to use is start sound not play sound until done this is the one we want start sound you can change all the different kinds of effects in here if you want you can make the effect go up higher you can put in some loops be creative i think uh you guys can 
uh, figure out how to do some really cool stuff. And then next time we'll talk about how do you put it all together and make a video recording of all of your stages. Because I know some of you uh, don't have everything into one project and some of you have um, screenshots and video clips already. And we want to talk about how to put all of that together into one video that we can use inside of our final project and present our videos. Uh, be sure to share your link in Google and assign, make sure it's shared and add it to the assignment. That is it for us. And I will see you next time.